What's good, guys? I just wanted to give you a quick red zone defensive tip that I think will be really helpful if you're playing defense inside the 10-yard line. This is really honestly in Madden 22, and honestly, I also believe in Madden 23, where the best defense really happens and a great way to uh, defend the majority of what people are going to do because the field shrinks. Well, what I wanted to do in this video is just give you a really simple adjustment that you can use. You can do this out of really any defense. I'm going to show it today out of Big Nickel over G. For this, we're going to need to put our slot cornerback package on. I've got a full defensive ebook on the Big Nickel over G. If you want to check that out, the link to that will be in the description. You get all my ebooks by just becoming a Patreon member, um, including all my Madden 23 stuff that's right around the corner. But this is, we're just going to pick the cover two here. And I just wanted to show you a really simple um, adjustment that's going to significantly help you defend the trips tied in and really the bunch as well. Um, and, and all we're going to do here is you're going to see with this doubles and sale, if I just call this play, you'll see here that this corner route is really difficult to defend. It's almost impossible to stop. And so a real simple adjustment is out of a nickel set. doesn't matter the set. You just want to make sure your zone drops are not on. And what you want to do is you want to shade your coverage underneath. And then what I like to do is inside quarter this safety here. And then I'm actually going to bring this safety down in the box so he can kind of stop the run. And I like to man this guy up on the tight end. You don't have to do that. You could put this guy on, you know, an inside third if you wanted to. You could also put him on a curl flat. I think you're going to have a little curl flat, hard flat combo. And then you're going to use her this vertical hook. And this is a really good coverage. Um, and what you'll see is by inside quartering this safety here, he's going to match to this number three receiver pretty much perfectly. He'll take this entirely away, as you can see right there. So it's my favorite defense inside the five yard line. One other thing about this defense that I want to quickly discuss is you might say, well, what if they put the number two receiver on a corner route? Well, what I like to do in that situation, if I'm worried about that, is I'll re-cloud flat that outside guy over here on the right side. Another really good tip is if you want to match the running back, just bluff blitz either one of these D linemen on the side of the running back. You'll still get really good sheds and they will defend the running back wheel pretty decently. Um, but what you'll see here is if I put this guy on a corner and then let's just say, you know, for purpose of illustration, let's just say I put this guy on a curl or let's just put him on a streak. Okay, what you're going to notice is that this cloud flat is going to kind of come back and play that really well. I could have easily clicked on and picked that ball off. And the last thing that I want to show you about, and this is really something that Skimbo um, made really, really good this year. And it's one of the best two-point conversion plays and really just money plays inside the five that you're going to find. And that is the mesh spot out of Gun Bunch. So I want to show you kind of how to bag both of these concepts. Um, like I said, I think they're two of the best concepts in the game. And for this, we're still going to use the cover two defense with the slots, the slot cornerback package on. And what I like to do if I'm going up against the gun bunch is again, we're going to show blitz again. We're going to shade our coverage down. But now, as you see here, our safety is on this side. And what I like to do over here is I'm going to inside quarter the trip side safety. I'm still going to re cloud flat that outside cornerback on the right. And then what I like to do over here on this side is basically the same adjustments as you can see right here. So this is a pretty straightforward defense. And what makes it so good is we're going to basically use the running back ourselves. Um, but what you're going to notice here is that this wheel wrap to the tight end is going to be absolutely bagged by our shaded down vertical hook and our inside quarter. Um, and what you're going to notice if I go into instant replay just real quick is that this inside quarter does a really good job of defending this tight end because it's matching that number three receiver. The mid read does a great job of defending the high point. And then my re cloud flatted guy is gonna be doing just fine over here. And then backside, you're gonna see that this guy is gonna match the running back and this guy is going to play the outside player. So really two of the best red zone concepts in the entire game completely shut down. Thanks for watching. If you wanna learn more about how to have the best defense in Madden, make sure to get my full Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook. I think it's gonna be a great defense in Madden 23. The link for uh, our Patreon is down in the description. Again, by joining that, you'll get access to all of my Madden ebooks. So if you wanna sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link.